Ah! On this glorious day, ah! our brave boys ah! master... Bastard George said we have a gut him like the pig that he is. <laughs> Talking like that will land you in the stock. How about a good souls of Salem? So you're really leaving? Hey. Look. And I swear, on my parents' grave, war will not last a year. Be sick again. Shh. As soon as you sit down inside, it will settle. Wait, Joe. Peace be upon you. And upon you. Gives a certain kind of man some place to end up. On a rope. Stay strong. After tonight, it will all be over. Wait. Change my mind. I want to go back. There's no place for that child in Salem. George Sibley drove John Alton off to die in the war. Baby. And you. What is this place? Please. the world shall be yours in return. All the world. With some packages for you, ma'am. Send him in. And Nathaniel, take Mr. Sibley with you. Now, Isaac, tell me some news of the world. I saw a dusty fellow walking into town today. 
couldn't believe my eyes. Why? Indeed. As my beloved husband, the head of your selectmen, reminds me, there is something worse than a witch hunt. A witch. A witch? Or a goblin. John Alden, from his long, long service in our defense. Behind you. Captain Alden. Mr. Sibley and I are hosting a small dinner tomorrow night. I'd be honored if you join. Fight it. You know it only hurts more. You took away everything I had, George Sibley. Everything I loved. Can you imagine how good it feels to take everything you have, destroy all you've built, Devour your very soul. Well done. I would like to make a toast to our hostess, Mary Sibley, and true beauty, a man indeed. Like yourself? I believe there is only so much you can learn from books. Experience is our true teacher. They're so mysterious. <laughs> Unnatural, I'd say. Soulless. Yeah. <laughs> and what about witches? Do they have souls too? A contract. Indeed. As I believe by law, a woman's not allowed to enter a contract, but through the agency of their husband, Nathaniel. Yes, ma'am. Like an honest Frenchman. Things that I believe in. I find I worry more about the French and the Indian attacks than I do. Captain Alden, just how vulnerable are we? Are you all right, Captain Alden? Some fresh air might help. I was told you were killed. Was that before or after you married Sibley? I remember being told once that the war wouldn't last a year. That wasn't up to me. I waited for you. Years and years without a word. I couldn't write. No, of course not. Too busy saving the country. You said the universe itself was made out of vows, and you have no shortage of silver now. Mary, 
come with me. Now. Tonight. I have money in a bank in New York. It's different there. There's not a Puritan in sight. But it's not too late. Anywhere but here. New York? Yeah. Is that before or after you were captured? You walk out of here one night and you come back years later and, and you think that... Mary. Mrs. Sibling, even you have no right to monopolize a guest as fascinating as Captain Alden, for whom I have a rare gift. A cigar of tobacco from Guiana with some brandy. I'm afraid all this civilized eating and drinking has laid me out, Magistrate. It's not like... What's John Alden compared to all that lies before you? Stop your weeping, woman. That boy don't deserve those tears. They're not for him. They're for the girl I once was. That girl belongs to somebody else. <laughs> was it he that left you to the wolves? No, child. It was he that saved you from the wolves and raised you up to all of this. You have a grand vision. Don't lose sight of it. Tomorrow the moon is with us. Tomorrow it begins. Leave your anger and your pain for the Kanaima to feed on. Has he not been true to his vow? Are not your enemies now your slaves? Do you not have everything that you desire? Wealth, power, almost everything. To what do I owe the pleasure? I was back, as you and I both know. The heart heals. I took up trapping. It's a meager living. Ruined the Indians. Thing about trapping is you get your good catch at night, but by morning it's someone else's meal. They were my traps. Fascinating, Mr. Cor. The night you did it, you. He waited a long time. Nobody's business till now, but that was John. And the way he feels about you, he has a right to know. So, are you gonna tell him? Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, I'm not frightened. Just surprised. Yes, of course. A girl brave enough to sketch in a graveyard. I'm not afraid of the dead. Or the living, for that matter. That's because you know nothing of death, and less of life. I could teach you about life and death and many things in between. You know what killed nearly every woman buried here? Love, childbirth. So love is to a woman what war is to a man most deadly thing they'll do. Only a fool runs quickly to war or love. You'd best watch yourself. Thank you, Mrs. Sibley. I can only aspire to your happy wisdom.
Is this him? The witch? I think so. Is this the witch? He won't plead either way. Is that so? Won't dignify the accusation to Captain John Alden. But I'm told he's left town. Just obtain a plea. And if you remain silent? You've been granted power. Use it. Press him for an answer. Let the same devil that holds his tongue hold the stones. Hurry, the Sabbath is about to begin. Make him walk on floor to roof. Drink to him with horn and hoof. One, two, three, and four. The devil is here. Now sleep no more. And all the world shall be yours in return. you once again who was there who saw us mr. Hale there's no turning back the witch hunt has begun and we will be running the trials you understand that don't you George you best of all we will use the trials to turn the Puritans against each other they will hunt and kill and drown in their very own blood. And Salem is ours. <laughs> 